So I think there's a part of us that really loves the traditional food for the holidays. We like the green bean casserole smothered in the can of mushroom soup, and we like, you know, mom's mashed potatoes. And then I think there's a side of us that is like, we just want something new, we want something fresh. Personally, I hate feeling horrible after I've had a big Thanksgiving meal, and I think a lot of that is sodium. So if I'm gonna eat something indulgent, it better taste good. I'm taking the traditional green bean casserole and I'm giving it a facelift, an upgrade, you would say. I'm starting with cremini mushrooms. I'm gonna saute it lightly. I am gonna add some really amazing indulgent ingredients, but you're not gonna feel so heavy after you've eaten it. All right, so I have cremini mushrooms that I've quartered. I'm sauteing them in a stick of butter. And I have some shiitake mushrooms right here. Now, if you don't know how to wash a mushroom, what you wanna do is take a damp cloth and just roll it around until you get the dirt off. Shiitake mushrooms have like barely any. Um, and then you wanna take off the woody stem, okay? Cause this is really fibrous, you can't eat it. But I love the idea of adding cremini mushrooms and shiitake mushrooms to the dish because to me, the mushrooms are really the star. That's why we love it smothered with that cream of mushroom soup. But I don't know if you've ever turned over a can of cream of mushroom soup, but the sodium will like blow you away. All right, I've got my shiitake mushrooms. And by the way, if you have a recipe that you want a makeover, comment below. Let me know what other kind of holiday recipe you would love to see get reinvented. So I'm just gonna slice my mushrooms and add them, shiitakes don't take very long to cook. By now you've probably guessed what my indulgence, my indulgent addition is going to be, and that's bacon. I actually already cooked it. If you have not tried cooking bacon by baking it in the oven, you're missing out. There's no splatter, the bacon comes out nice and flat and pretty and easy. All of the fat drains, it's just, I don't know, for me, it's the only way I can cook bacon now. Okay, we're gonna add some salt. All right, so one year my mom and I decided we were going to do the traditional green bean casserole, but we were gonna make it entirely from scratch with the bechamel and the whatever. What a mess, oh my gosh, it took forever. And I don't know if it was really that much tastier. So I thought I'm gonna skip the cream altogether and I'm just gonna add the parts of it that I think are the tastiest. So we have our mushrooms. I'm gonna add my green beans. Woo. Okay, so these are actually haricots verts, and they are, it's the French word for green bean, honestly, but they're tiny. They're thinner, they're tender, and I bought them already with the stems cut off. It makes it so much easier. It's worth spending an extra couple bucks to know that you're not snapping these green beans. Okay. So here is the argument that I have in my family every year. I really like my green beans al dente. I like them bright green and I like them crunchy when I bite into them. But there are other people in my family that like the traditional overcooked, I would say soggy green bean, but know your audience, right? Know who you're cooking for and know how much to push the envelope. If just making this dish is already a little bit crazy, then cook them a little bit longer. But if not, try cooking it al dente. I promise you, you'll like them. I think I've overcrowded my pan. And there's plenty of butter, but because we use that whole stick, that it's coating the green beans really nicely. I'm gonna cover it just for a second and let the steam cook the green beans. All right, I'm gonna cut up my bacon into little thin strips. All right, so I'm gonna fry my bacon. Just get it a little bit crispy now. So now for, of course, the best parts, the bacon. Mm-hmm. And the fried onions.
The traditional dishes are perfect just as they are, but don't be afraid to kind of venture out of your comfort zone and try something new this year for the holidays. I'm Roni Proter with Dinner Reinvented, and I hope that you will join me back here in my kitchen soon.